going to be doing is I'm going to be doing three compound movements. One for the chest, one for the back, and one for the legs. Compound movements target a lot of the muscles, and of course, chest is one main area, back is another, and legs is another. These are going to be all with the concrete weights, and then when I get in the gym next week, obviously doing it three times this week will then sort of like warm you up to get up on, onto some proper weights when I get to the gym on Saturday, hopefully. So I will then maybe test what I'm actually capable of, you know, see how weak I am, see how where I am at the moment, you know, how far I'm off. And if I'm not much better than I was here, then I'm just gonna stick to some safe weight and then do it for another week. And then hopefully after that week, I will be able to start doing a proper program. <laughs> training with two days off this plan which i'm going to be doing for the next couple of weeks i'm going to be also doing some isolation <laughs> exercises on a full body um, I don't know if I'm gonna actually do them all because even though I did the reps on the squats it was hard work I'm not a big leg person and that's one thing as soon as I get back into gym I'm gonna concentrate on my legs a hell of a lot more I used to have really big legs because I used to play football I used to do mountain biking and I, my calves are big. I have got good sized calves, but my quads and my glutes, my glutes are quite big. I have got quite a juicy booty, uh, but the quads are, they're, they're in good condition, but they're just not wide enough. And I wanna get wider legs, you know? So I'm gonna work on them a lot. I'm gonna improve my squats, hack squats, because one thing I am very weak at is hack squats. I struggle with them. We still cannot plan what we're gonna do. I mean, I could. I am now doing this cut. This is the thing. This cut is just for me. Depending on how I feel, the cut might go really, really good. I might get into two or three weeks time and be really, really focused on this cut and like I was last time. If I can get that mentality back, then I'm gonna look great. And you know what, it's only for me. I'm doing it for me, because, and and this is the whole point of this video. Obviously, you wanna see workouts. That's why I haven't showed you the whole of my workout. You know, I don't want you to see another YouTuber doing another workout at home or whatever. You know what, I think it's now, I think now we're sick to the death of home workouts of people doing workouts at home, the same thing every week. And it's not interesting. We need to see different places. You know, we need to do collaborations with people, things that you want to see, I would want to see, and that's what I'm gonna be doing. As soon as gyms are back open and people can do more things, which they can now, but I mean like proper, like get together and in a group, and work out as a group. I'm gonna be doing stuff like, I'm gonna be collaborating with people. I'm gonna be asking YouTubers. I'm gonna even ask people like Brandon Harding, you know, if he um, is around. He always replies back to some of my uh, messages. Virtually every message I've ever sent to him, he's replied back. He's a local person to me. So even if I could have a workout with him, get some tips, even though he's younger than me, he's obviously in a better state than me. 
you know, just getting that experience, training with somebody who's in that competitive state where they're working for something. Um, he could, it would just be, it'd just be great to do something like that. I was in my last course, obviously I was with a girl and I could do a lot of videos there. It was very easy to do a, a film about food. I could show you how to cook. But now I'm back at home. I've got my son around me 24 seven virtually. I've got my parents with me. My kitchen is not the best to show cooking. So I'm not gonna show you how to cook things. I'll show you how with a picture and then explain it like this. Um, because I want to show people what you can actually do um, when you're actually on a diet, when you're cutting and make food a bit more interesting. You might think it's all chicken, broccoli and rice. And it's not, I'm not having no rice in my diet at all. Um, I'm not having any broccoli in my diet at all. Some of the stuff that I'm eating, you'll be quite surprised you can eat them after a few weeks and, and when i show you my physique then that's when i'm going to start talking about the food because then you'll realize that that food is working with me because you're seeing results i don't want to show it now in the next couple of weeks and then go this is what food and then do a physique update and i don't look that different i'm not going to really show my physique for the first two or three weeks I'm probably gonna, when I get to the end of next month, I'm gonna show a physique update because I don't really think my physique's gonna change much in the next two or three weeks. It's gonna, I'm gonna lose weight, but I'm gonna tell you what I've lost, you know, but I'm not really gonna show you my proper physique. Yes, you might see me with my arms out. Yes, you might see me in a vest and you'll see it there. I'm gonna do a proper physique update until I'm quite happy and I show results and I'll probably do like a, a month physique video where I showed you from when I started. This Monday I weighed myself, I was 175 pounds. Yeah, I'm about 12 pounds heavier than I was when I was stopped cutting. Um, I want to try and get these next four weeks to get down as low as possible to, so when I'm on week eight, it's exactly the same as when Obviously, I stopped cutting. A few videos ago, I said that I might compete because this cut works out to when the shows are actually happening. Just found out one of the shows is already fully booked up because they were knocking down the price 80% off just to get people in. So it's, it's full up straight away. But that doesn't stop me from entering one of the other shows. I don't know yet. I can't say anything until I see what my physique is and also what gyms are like. I might go to a gym on Saturday and I might absolutely hate it. It might be completely different. It might not be as good as it used to be. You know, I, like I say, I do not like rushing. If they're gonna tell me you've only got 45 minutes to go to a gym when it's empty and there's no one there, I'm not gonna be happy. And I'll probably end up walking out and joining another gym because there's no way you can do a proper proper workout in 45 minutes there is no way especially when you're using bars and you're changing the weights putting the weights back right and also cleaning now down, down the equipment which usually you didn't usually clean down the equipment as much before you need to even put a towel there or if you're not that sweaty you didn't even use the cleaning so i'm not gonna be pushed and rushed and I don't think it's right if you are being told to only have 45 minutes in a gym. Yes, if it's very busy, but if you really want a good workout, I suggest you change your times and go at a later time or an earlier time. Saturday, I'm thinking about going in the morning when it first opens up because I'm going out that night as well, uh, celebrating my birthday with some work colleagues. So you're gonna see the antics of me going out at the moment i am waiting for my muscle food delivery which i'm going to show you when it comes i'm going to do a video about that and what food i'm eating i've already done one of them but i, I want to show you what i'm eating again when i'm shredding so this video is just telling you what i'm going to be doing i'm going to do full body workouts for the next two weeks on saturday i might just do a random 
uh, workout, you know, because I'm going out, I want to get the chest pumping, looking big, get my arms and get my back, I might just do an upper body. I do not know because I don't know if I can film. Obviously, if I can, I will get some filming done, but I do not, uh, I do not know if I will be allowed. I'm going to go now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe.